Hello everyone, thank you so much for hanging out here with, with us. This is Little Light Studios and today I'm going to be talking about the truth about the day of the death. That's right. Feliz Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> okay, wait. Don't judge me yet. yet. Uh, I'm going to be talking about w why we celebrate. I'm from Mexico. I'm from this beautiful uh, <laughs> state of Chiapas. I'm from South Mexico and I just want to share my my where i'm from i'm from chiapas way south from mexico so i grew up in mexico for 20 something years and i came to the united states so i grew up with this with this with this this party uh, i grew up in a, as a christian uh, in a christian home and reading the bible stuff like that my my daddy was he was uh he was a very cultural guy i mean he always taught me about you need to learn you know, the, the, the stuff of, of a country, you need to love your country, you need to learn about what we do things. But also, I grew up from, you know, uh, the light of uh, the, the, the truth of the Bible. So, and this day, it was, well, today is my dad's birthday, by the way. So it was his birthday. But uh, he always taught me that we, we, uh, we can go to the cemetery and you know, clean up uh, the tombs and put flowers and, you know, kind of like remember about your loved ones, stuff like that. And I was like, well, that, that's pretty neat. But also around the cemetery, they do all these, you know, all these traditional stuff, you know, with uh, uh, these kind of stuff. Maybe you see those pictures in the magazines or maybe you're from Mexico. Or maybe you went for a, as a vacation, go to Mexico and you see all these candles and, and, and food and, and and fruit and food and and maybe the loved ones uh, they prefer they, you know they make uh, delicious food like tamales stuff like that the the favorite food for 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 the ancestors and they put the food right there in the tomb and the pictures and stuff like that that is for like to have respect but the thing is the 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 the, the how we you know as in Mexico the traditional is they think about the spirits that come in the middle of the night and supposedly they're going to be eating their delicious food. And of course, you know, it's music all night. The, 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 the cemetery is open all night. So this is the, the traditional way how to do it. But the thing is that <clears throat> coming to the United States, I learned this, uh, 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 this, this holiday here in the United States to celebrate uh, Memorial Day. Okay, Memorial Day is kind of like, you know, here in the United States, it focuses on on people that went to the war, and you know, they fight, they, they fight for for the for the country, right? <clears throat> and they have this uh, this opportunity to go to the cemetery, or maybe the, you, you love ones to, you know, to go and clean up the tomb, put flowers, stuff like that. Maybe here in the United States, they don't do all these traditional stuff, you know, how we we do in Mexico. But uh, the thing is that. We can go to the cemetery, right? And uh, we can clean out the tomb, put a candle. I mean, no, not put a candle, no. <laughs> uh, sit down, clean out the tomb, put floor, uh, flowers. And I remember I used to do that. I go visit my, my grandma, my uncle, stuff like that. And we just sit down and kind of like, eh, you kind of like remember about, you know, what happened in their life, stuff like that. We don't talk to the dead. You know, as a Christian, we believe, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys, different things about you know what the bible says stuff like that but i just want to share with you guys what we do in mexico and why we celebrate and let me tell you i sh i found out uh some information that as a, i'm from mexico and i didn't know anything about it. I'm, seriously i never heard about that guy about the the, the god of, of death and all that and the aztecs you know they, they were worshiped that kind of stuff i didn't know i just was like well it's it's something that we do and we go there and they do a little candies and stuff like that and this is how you know how we celebrate in mexico you know the little candies and, and delicious bread you know pan dulce i don't know if familiar with that, that stuff so it's traditional stuff but the thing is that and even the bible said that if the bread or the food or stuff like that is put it to offer it to the idols we don't need to be eating them we don't need to be participating for that kind of stuff you know how the pagans they worship their gods and stuff like that so the thing is that we need to be really be careful as a Christian, you know, we participate in that kind of stuff, especially in Mexico. Uh, I'm sure people who are Christian, they don't participate, in, you know, this kind of stuff. Uh, but they put an altar 
and, and they put a uh, you know food candy uh like i would say you know candles and, and, the, and the pictures of the loved ones and stuff like that to respect them to remember about them but the thing is that uh and they think about the spirit that come and all stuff i mean people don't believe that that, that much either but it's the traditional thinking but let me tell you one when you read the bible i mean we talk about this is the lamp right it's gonna tell us and guide us how are we going to be walking how are we going to be living our lives and we know <laughs> we know that the 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 day doesn't know anything right and we're going to be sharing some scripture later on but i just want to share with you that and also they have a you know prayer you know that people walk in the streets and, and they you know they're painting this the, the faces with you know with those you know dead you know figures skeletons you know stuff like that but Yes, and it's a culture thing. And we, as a Mexican community uh, uh, country, we we had this this kind of mentality that we respect the death, okay? Because it, you know he's gonna come, or she's gonna come, and he's gonna take us, or he's gonna you know you know what I'm saying? it's just culture stuff. But <laughs> we need to be uh, uh, worshiping the the God of of the Bible, the uh, the God of of the living God. Amen. So we don't need to be participating in that kind of stuff, you know. I'm not saying that. So I just want to tell you what we do and all the stuff. And yeah, it's it's art, because let me tell you, we this thing about the saint death or la santa muerte, right? They dress like that and all the stuff. And interesting about these kind of pictures, about this this painting about this lady. Um, it came to in the early in the, in the 20th century. Uh, early uh, 21st century to um, this very famous painter guy he he did this this paint uh, as a lady it looked like a you know like he's dying you know skeleton all that with a nice dress why he did that because uh, back then the high class he was like you know I'm way up here and the low class, it was like, you know, you look like nothing to me and stuff like that. So this person used this paint as a justice. Like, you know what? Everybody has, we're going to go to die someday. And everybody has bonds, things like that. So that's why I come out with this ideology, uh, ideology, sorry, uh, uh, thinking about, like, hey, everybody is the same. So it's not something like... Um, they worship that pink pictures and all stuff. I'm not saying you need to put it on. That's not correct either. But I'm just saying, what is the truth about the day of the day? That's what I'm talking about. Why they do things like that, okay? Uh, and also, this thing about the, the, the saint death. I mean, uh, we don't need to be worshiped the, the, the saints and all the stuff. I mean, you guys know, right, what the Bible said. But I'm going to be sharing later on. Later on, this is just during during the day. During the night, a lot of people they use this kind of stuff to do some bad rituals. Exactly, kind of like Halloween. You know, maybe they kill animals and and you know witches and and, and you know and uh, how do you say that uh, doctors? Uh, um, uh, I forgot the name, but uh, yeah, I mean witch doctors. Yeah, I think it's called witch doctors. Uh, so the thing is that. At nighttime, they do all these sacrifice and worship the devil and, and do all these ma magical thing. And, and we don't need to be part of that kind of stuff. That's right. Even in Mexico, different places, they do all this, all this ritual. Uh, it looks nice, right? The, the, uh, uh, different colors and kind of like maybe somebody up there, maybe is typing and say, hey, it's, this is just art. It's just culture stuff. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it looks nice and everything. But we, need, we don't need to be participating in that kind of stuff. Right. You know, as a Christian, as a Christian, we need to we need to find, you know, we need to be in the in the life of Christ, not in the darkness of the enemy. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Please pay attention. And I'm going to read it to you. This he said, the celebration of the day of the death is a tradition that help us to remember all our loved ones, you know, with color, celebration, aromas. Uh, joy and flavor, right? That's the, the, the thing about all oh, we remember about the of loved ones. But the enemy is very, very, you know, very smart, right? He he knows what's going on. 
something idea is very nice, kind of like in the United States, the idea about like, hey, you know, Memorial Day, right? I mean, we need to remember about our, our loved ones, stuff like that. But it's mixed with paganism. So that's the problem. To worship idols, to do those kind of practice and the dark and all the stuff. You need to dress like that and, and you need to look like the dead and also to have a little respect to the dead and all stuff. No, we need to respect God or God or creator God. Amen. So we need to be, be careful that kind of stuff. And I'm going to say this very, um, I'm going to say this. Many people have said, oh yeah, but you like this. Or maybe, I don't know what you're thinking, but I haven't read your, your comments. But I am, I am Christian. I am a Christian first, then Mexican. And let me tell you, I, I, I grew up with, with love in my country. And I'm proud to be, you know, hey, I'm Mexican. And I'm, I'm living here in the United States. I'm an American citizen. And I'm proud to be an American citizen, too. Because I'm living here with, believe it or not, with all these, you, you know, you turn the TV on and all these different laws and all stuff and what they do and the leaders and all stuff. But let me tell you, living here in the United States, I'm very happy. Seriously. And being Mexican, too, I'm proud, too. But let me tell you, first, I'm Christian than Mexican. And I'm sure you're going to be saying, all right, you know what? I'm first Christian, then American, or I don't know, any, any country, right, of the world. So I just want to encourage you. I'm going to be sharing some scriptures because I need to tell you that in Psalms 115, 17, the Bible said the dead praise not the Lord, neither any that go down into silence. I mean, seriously. The day doesn't know anything. They cannot praise God because it's in the silence. There's, there's it's practically, they don't know anything. And Ecclesiastics uh, chapter 9, verse 5 and 6 says, For the living uh, know that they will die. That's right, right? I mean, someday we're going to die. But the dead know nothing. Really? Yeah, because they have no more rewards. And for the memory of them is forgotten. Also, their love, the hatred, and the if, if need, have uh, now perished. So that's it. Now, like, no mass, you know, no mass, <laughs> right? No more. I mean, you don't have no, no, no thinking about that. You, don't, you cannot praise the Lord. Uh, you don't have love for anybody. It's, 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 it's already, that's it. But the question I have, seriously, because I was, I was researching this, and I was like, wow. How they come with the idea of of uh, uh, w worshiping the death, right? Um, in Mexico, why, why, how, why we do this kind of stuff, this kind of celebration? Well, let me tell you, uh, it is a god of the Aztecs that were worshipped. The Mistecauci Watlet is the god of the death, and these god they were worshipped, the and that's where they come the idea of celebrating the dead. They were dressing, they were putting, uh, you know, their mask and celebration and all stuff. And like I said in the beginning, we cannot, we cannot be worship that kind of situation or practices. That kind of practice? No, we need to be worship God or creating God. But it's also kind of interesting. That's this, the, the, the civilization of the Aztecs, right? I mean, a few hundred years ago. But the enemy is so smart. Because he has the same God and different civilizations. Look over here. Uh, Anubis, the Egyptian God of the dead and also the underworld. I mean, these guys, they, they're still, they have their own gods. They, 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 you know, they worship the, the God of death. And, you know, maybe you see this picture before. And this is in, in, in Egypt. And I'm sure, you know, I know the parts around there, they, they, they worship this kind of God. Uh, what about, you know, Samhain? I think that's what I pronounce it. Samhain. Okay, Samhain. It was it's a festival. I mean, uh, I believe uh, I believe Mikey, Mikey did a, a great presentation uh, on, on this kind of topic. Uh, Samhain, it was a, also, they were worshipped. The, the dead. And, and let me tell you, I mean, we don't need to be part of that kind of stuff, you know, Halloween and all stuff. That's why it's kind of like uh, the Day of the Dead is kind of like Memorial Day mixed with with Halloween. Okay. 
So we need to be, be careful. Uh, I, I believe that, I mean, you can go to, to the cemetery, like I said, clean up you, you know, where, where your grandma was there or something like that. And just put up flowers and, and just sit down and just think about you. I'm not saying talking to you, grandma. I'm not saying that. I'm saying just have a nice memory and stuff like that. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And don't pray for them either, right? We know where they are. And don't, like I said, the Bible said that, that they don't know anything. Uh, look what the Bible said. It's so clear and so powerful. And Deuteronomy 18, 9, 11, it said, When you come into the land which the Lord your God has given you, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of those nations. Why, why Lord? Because they shall not be found among to anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or one who practices witchcraft, or uh, shoot sayer, or one who interprets omens, or uh, sorcerers, and conjures spells, and mediums, or spirits, and one who calls up to the dead. Uh, that's just Bible, and that's truth. And a lot, of, I mean, I have family, you know, and they're, they're, you know, they're not Christians, you know, I mean, and maybe they don't practice anything or, or Catholicism and stuff like that. And they believe that, you know, I remember when I was a little kid, you go visit my, my aunt. And I remember she was like, hey, you know what? Do you remember your uncle, whatever? And he said, yeah. Oh, he came to visit me and we were talking to him for like two hours. And I was like, dad, is not uncle passed away five years ago? Say yeah. So how are you gonna be talking? To no, no. He came to visit me. I mean, certainly. Don't think it was like a, like, no. It was like a, a normal conversation, and that happened. I'm sure you have some stories. Of maybe somebody come to visit you, but that's not your loved ones. I'm sorry. That's a different spirit, and the enemy can convert to uh, angel of light. I mean, can you imagine just to do that? The Bible said also that. In Luke 20 to 38, he said, For he is not a God of death, amen, but of the living, for the living God, for all who live into him. That's right. We, we worship the God of, of life, right, amen? The, this is a living God. It's not something that is dead and, and I'm just doing lots of prayers and, and, and I don't have a relationship with, that, with him and stuff like that. No, God wants us to have a relationship with him. And that's why it's a great opportunity that we need to come to know him. We need to come to know him and have a relationship with him. And the enemy doesn't want that we have that relationship with our creator. He wants us to just be a deceive and put all this idea that when you die, go to heaven and he's watching me and he's going to come. And maybe after five years, that he's dead. And I mean, that is deceiving us. I finish with this verse in the Bible. It says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh into the Father but by me. Who said that? Jesus, right? Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. And we need to go to him. We don't need to be practicing this kind of stuff. Even though they, you know, I'm I'm you know, I'm from Mexico and I love my culture. You know, I love learning all this stuff. I mean, I mean, that's why I grew up. I mean, I know, you know, history and stuff like that. And, but the thing is, is there are some practices that's not according to the Bible. And I'm not going to be participating in that kind of stuff. Because first, I am a Christian, then to be a Mexican. And this is hard to say that. I'm not kidding you. But you come to the understanding of, you know, Jesus died for you. God loves me. And he is preparing a place for me in heaven and for you too. Seriously. Uh, if you want to learn to practice your Spanish, <laughs> seriously, I'm going to give you a great idea. Go visit our, uh, our, our YouTube channel, Little Life Studios in Spanish. That's right. I do videos there in Spanish. I'm going to go live at 4 o'clock, the same message you, you heard this. Uh, tell your friends. Tell your friends about it. Uh, go over there, visit, uh, subscribe, and, and practice your Spanish. Because uh, if you want to learn Spanish, I mean, it's just right there. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, for hang out here with me uh, and also kind of an easy way if you want to take a picture of this or something like that, go uh, you can go and visit us in our YouTube channel uh, my name is Alex Castillejos uh, here in Little Studios 
I do the stuff in Spanish. And I hope, and I hope seriously, this message, it was, uh, uh, do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy it, uh, the message? Thanks so much for, for hanging out here with me. And, and I will see you next, next time with another powerful video.